Hey y'all, welcome back to Cute Apron Cooking and if this is your first time, then welcome. If you would like to be notified of all the recipes that I post, go ahead and click subscribe and hit the notification bell. I've never been one to get into everything pumpkin spice. Like I, I don't think I've had anything pumpkin spice yet this year. But one pumpkin recipe that we always have to have at least once during the holidays is pumpkin roll. And that's what we're gonna be making today. making pumpkin rolls for so many years I can't even remember when I started making pumpkin rolls. Me and my mom used to make them and sell them to the community and different things like that and for some reason when you're she couldn't go with me to deliver so dad had to take me and help me deliver so I know I've been making these before I even got my driver's license so that's a long time ago. So for the actual cake part of our recipe today you're going to need eggs, sugar, pumpkin, lemon juice, self-rising flour, cinnamon, and ginger. And for the filling, we're going to need butter, vanilla, powdered sugar, cream cheese, and pecans. Your oven temperature is going to be 350 degrees, so I've already got that preheating. And the pan that you're gonna be using is a jelly roll pan. And I think the dimensions on a jelly roll pan are 15 inches by 10 inches and an inch. I think it's about an inch high. You will want to use parchment paper on this because it'll be very difficult to get your cake out of the pan if you don't use parchment paper. Don't use wax paper. It will burn in the oven. You want to make sure it's parchment paper. Just so that your batter goes all the way to the corner, I find it best to actually fold your parchment paper on all four sides all the way to the edge of the pan and that way your batter will go to the edge and then just unfold that a little bit. So the first step is to beat the eggs and the sugar on high for five minutes until they're pale and creamy. If you're just wanting to make one of these, it's not that messy, but if you ever want to sell these and you end up making like 60 or 70, your kitchen is going to be a disaster. Take my word on it. Your floor is going to get so sugary and sticky, it's going to be terrible. But these are definitely a good money maker if you want to just make some extra cash for Christmas. People will buy these up like crazy. After you beat the eggs for five minutes, you're gonna go ahead and add the pumpkin and the lemon juice. Beat that probably on like low, medium low, just until it's incorporated. After you add the pumpkin, go ahead and sift your flour, the cinnamon, and ginger into your liquid mixture. Just go ahead and mix that until it's combined. Okay, now we're ready to pour this into our parchment lined pan. This smells so absolutely delicious already and it's not even started to bake yet. Put this in the oven for about 15 minutes. 
You want to check it at 13 minutes just to see if it's done yet, if your oven bakes hot. When you're making the filling, you want to make sure you start out with softened cream cheese and butter so there's not a lot of lumps in your frosting. While the cake is baking, we can go ahead and get started on the filling. We'll start by creaming together the cream cheese and the butter. And once that's creamed together, we'll add in some vanilla and sift in the powdered sugar and we'll blend that on high until it's well incorporated and smooth. I have a new camera person today because Hannah is busy doing her schoolwork and Brooke is also busy so she can't help so I have a new one. I guess that's one benefit of living on a campus. You can just recruit anybody and they can come help you. So I always have plenty of camera people. My camera girl is Addie. You don't want to be on camera? Oh she said my hair. So she can't come on camera. I guess her hair is not satisfactory to her. And we also have an audience of Miss Ranabelle. Hey, people. <laughs> yeah, she decided to come join us. It smells so good, y'all. Like the cinnamon and the ginger, it smells like fall. It's delicious. So the cake part of our roll is done and out of the oven. Once it comes out, you want to loosen it just a little bit from the edges and then we're going to sprinkle powdered sugar on top. The reason we're sprinkling the powdered sugar on it is we're fixing to lay paper towel on top of the cake and roll it up and we don't want the moisture from the warm cake making it stick to the paper towel. Yeah, that's the mess I was talking about earlier. So just lay your paper towel. When you measure your paper towel for how much you need, you want to make sure you have a little bit left over on the edges. It's really beneficial if you have two cooling racks when you're doing pumpkin rolls. You'll set the pan on one cooling rack when it comes out of the oven and then you'll use another one to flip it. If you don't have two cooling racks you can just use a cookie sheet for this next step instead. Be careful and don't let your cake fall out of the pan but we're just gonna flip this the whole thing. Remove the pan and then gently remove the parchment paper. You want to be careful when you take this off so it doesn't rip your cake because at this point your cake is still very warm and it will rip easy. Before we roll it up you want to let it cool maybe like five minutes so it's not still steaming and then we'll sprinkle it with some more powdered sugar. And when you roll a pumpkin roll you want to start with the thin side. And now we're going to set this in the refrigerator for maybe about 15 to 20 minutes so it can chill kind of in this shape. Then we'll unroll it and add our filling. If you're wanting this to look really, really nice on the edges, you can take a bread knife and actually make a small cut and slice off the sides so that it's completely straight. And those are also nice little sample pieces for you to snack on while you're working. Once you have this transferred to like a nice serving platter, if there's any places on your pumpkin roll that don't have powdered sugar, you can just do a, another quick dusting and it'll look cute to have a little sprinkling of the powdered sugar on your platter. It just gives it a little extra touch of sweetness. Now we're ready to taste our delicious looking pumpkin roll. Ranabelle, would you like to come over? So our cake plates today, it says plan A is cake but plan B is cupcake. I guess plan C is pumpkin roll. Whatever works. <laughs> oh my goodness, just cutting it, the cake feels so delicate. It's really nice. Mm. 
It's really good. Perfect. Ooh, she said it's perfect. I like those kind of reviews. Hey peeps, you all should try these. It's so, so delicious. Very delicious. Well, rave reviews about a pumpkin roll. So definitely make this for your family this fall or make it for yourself if you're just really wanting some pumpkin roll. And we're gonna go and give this to people on campus, like always. So we will see you all next week. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>